So guys, we've uh, converted the ST to rear wheel drive. So we just gotta make our own brackets to fit here and the gearbox to slide in. But your boys go. Right boys and girls, welcome back to another video. Been a while now, again, like two to three weeks as usual. But I'm just working a lot. I've been really busy, so. And there's not been much to do to the car. So today, we are stripping out the whole engine. Engine's coming out, downpipe, the exhaust is all coming off. Pretty much it's going back to, I don't know, the chassis really. Um, and then we've got loads and loads and loads of different things doing. The engine is sold, that's going to someone else. I've got another engine coming. I'm going to get the block lined. We're going to forge it. Should be good for, I think, a thousand brake horsepower, they said. I'm forging it myself with Sam, obviously. So we can teach you guys how to do that. It's pretty straightforward with a bit of mechanical knowledge. Um, what else is there? I'm getting my RS rear axle soon, I think. I've got to go pick it up. The first one got lost in, lost by the courier. So I've got to go pick up that soon. Um, what else is there? And we're stripping the interior out because I've got a custom fuel setup that me and Sam are making to fit the car so that I can run a certain type of exhaust. So big things happening. I want the car to run over 600 brake horsepower, so hopefully it will. Um, so yeah, so I shall catch you guys in a second. I'm gonna set up the camera and rip my car apart. See you in a sec. Right guys, I'm gonna start with taking off the bumper. I've already got it, most of it unclipped from the other day. So take that off first. I'm gonna be without my gloves, hold on. So we're gonna take the bumper up first. Just get some gloves. So I need to use them more. So, all of those, all of these are out, so I just pull this panel off. Unplug your fog lights. We've got obviously you got these as well to take out and the small wheel large ones, but obviously once you've done that you just need to clip out these black clips here. These orange clips here. a little bit. Same on these again, you gotta keep going back and forth really. Unless there's two of you. There you go, that's all loose. Send it to the camera back and I'll take it off. Hi right, guys, so that's the bumper off. Um, now it's time to take pretty much everything else off. So I need to drain the oil and coolant to get the rad off and the AC and stuff. 
AC condensers are going because I don't think it'll fit with the big cob stopper. So let me go grab some buckets and stuff to go train all this. Right guys, so I'm going to undo if it even loads. Loads, focuses. Uh, undo that coolant hose pipe there. Drain it into this very oily wet bucket. Um, and then we're going to start taking off the AC condenser, the rad, ECU, induction kit and so on. So I won't record this part because it's pretty boring. So, Right boys, so Sam's arrived. Sam is over there. We're trying to take off the front end. So you've got one bolt in there. You've got one down here. Uh, you've got these four like crash bar ones. So you've got to take this off. You've got to scoop it out to get it out. Uh, again, these ones basically the same on the reverse and obviously just move all these wires and everything clipped in behind here so I set up the camera and time lapse that bit We got the slam panel crash bar, whatever you want to call it off. So this is the crash bar there. Take this off now? Yeah. Yeah, we'll take off this crash bar. Obviously just make sure again you can unclip all of these. But I will skip that part. I won't add in a hundred times lapses that normal, so I'll come back once this is off. Alright guys, so this is where we're at so far. Turn them off, ECU holders off, call the radiator into call it a lot crossover, engine cover, the plenum's out as well. Just swapped out the injectors back to standard ST ones. Um, so it's gonna take off all like the heat matrix hoses and all that stuff. Get any rest of the coolant out, drain the oil, and then drive, yeah, shafts. Yeah, drive shafts. I think the gearbox, I'm taking the gearbox off because obviously I'm keeping that. The RS clutch and fly was coming out and that's going up for sale. So yeah, so we will resume once we're a little bit further ahead. Alright boys, so oil's draining, gearbox oil's draining then got most of the engine stuff out now as you can see uh, down pipes off just got to pull the engine out, set the turbo off, go deliver it and then yeah, come back, take the engine out clean up the engine bay and stuff like that and then go from there so yeah, I'll, once I got the engine crane out then we'll uh, come back so boys, this is our engine crane. We're now gonna put out the engine. We got a balancer as well. So we sort of times like this, like you literally need a bolt through some bolts to put it up from and then use the engine crane to jack it out. So yeah.
bad boys. So that is one engine out and gearbox. That's what we're left with. As you can see, my engine mount was fucked. So it got replaced that as well. So buy some more of those from a and &E Motorsport. Again, links in the description. But we're just gonna now take the big RS turbo off. Right there. Down pack out, go deliver all the stuff to the raffle winner and then put the engine back in ready to go onto a pallet and then we will explain in the car what we're doing to the car and where we're going with the engine and everything like that. So, she'll catch you in a sec. Hi guys, so the engine's out, it's all sorted, turbo's off. That's how it's sort of looking. So, we are now gonna go drive to Essex, come back, take the clutch off, um, and then we're talking to you about what we're actually doing with the car and where we're going with it. So, yeah, not a bad job, so we should talk to you in a bit. So boys and girls, it is absolutely chucking it down. I don't know where this has come from. I don't know if you can even hear me, but it is like flash flooding. But I've delivered all the stuff to Mark Weeks, who was the winner of the prize competition. Uh, I'll leave it into our Facebook page because we're doing weekly raffle, or like prize draws. Um, I'm going to get a website and all that made if it kicks off and stuff, but for now it should be alright. Um, we are just at my mate's house because we're just replacing this sump on his car, so, well, we see it because it's leaking a bit. So, yeah, I will skip to something more interesting now. It's not go through. Right, guys, before she rudely interrupted, um, I'm back at my house now. As you can tell, it's not raining. This camera's really buggy. Uh, it's not raining. Uh, I have just thought, well, I ordered a GoPro Hero 8. It's all in this little box, so I can get better POV driving and onboard videos for you guys. So I'm gonna unbox that now quickly. Why is that? I don't understand why my camera's going so dark. Let's crop that out. No? Oh. Alright, <laughs> <laughs> let me set the camera and I'll unbox the GoPro. Uh, don't, you know, cut yourself with this. Not that I'm even using it. I always have to glue it so hard. This magical bit of kit. Now, this is meant to be the bundle set, but I'm not seeing any extra accessories with this. Oh, so there you go, that's what it includes. Head strap, I already got one. I don't have this though. Memory card, extra battery. These obviously all the features. I don't actually know how you, how you open it from the bottom. Get those nice cinematics. So unsatisfying. <laughs> that's it. That's, that's it, guys. That is. I, I don't know. <laughs> camera up there. So this is obviously what comes with the GoPro. Uh, let's do a open bit. GoPro class. Oh, I might have to buy this. Oh, you get it free. This is the instructions how to take the camera off and how to charge it. Show sure you know how to do that. Some on support. Some stickers, I'll shove those on the car. It currently doesn't drive. One old manual that you don't need. This is what we want. A little 32 gigabyte memory. 
charger, nice head strap. Oh, you get... I was gonna say you get two batteries, but I'm guessing. Yeah. Two batteries. Don't just know this, I think this is just like something you shove in a helmet. I've never used it. And the little holder. So I'm gonna set that up quickly and then record the rest of this video with it and see what the quality is like. But I don't think there's much else to show you. I'll show you me driving to, I'm going up to Manchester tomorrow to grab the RS running gear. So I might do some onboard recording for camera then, but this video is all really choppy and different parts put together because the weather's crap and I've got nothing new to show you guys really. So yeah, I'll cut to the part where I'm actually recording on the GoPro to go pick up my RS running gear, drop off an engine, da -da -da, and all that other good fun stuff. So I shall catch you in a bit. Right, boys and girls, so I'm currently about to leave to go to Manchester. Uh, I'm recording on the GoPro as well, so let me know what the quality's like. Uh, I'm dropping off an engine and some facelift parts and stuff like that, and then I'm going to, well, dropping that off in Coventry, then going up to Manchester, go pick up my RS rear axle, and then I can get my car started. If that makes sense. I need to get all the coilovers on and stuff like that. So I shall catch you once we're on the way to Manchester. Right, boys and girls, so we're back. Uh, I can't remember what the last clip was, probably me driving. Um, camera died, I didn't charge the GoPro long enough. But um, this is the running gear that we got. It's all in there. Gearbox is out. So, let me go inside because it's too windy. But um, yeah, no, so we've got the running gear to now put on the car. I've got my coilovers as well that I need to now put on the car. Um, and I need to do a brake setup. I need to try and find the setup brakes going to fit because I'm not going to go K-Sports. I don't know if I'm going to keep my RS brakes. I might change them over. But I won't be going for them, but I'm going to something completely different, like something off an Audi or something like that if they fit. But we can see, make something different. Um, in terms of plans for the car, I'm going to do that in another video, talk about my plans for the car, because I need more content to upload whilst my car's off the road. So I'll do another video for that. So I shall catch you guys in the next one. I know it's been a really choppy video, but I really haven't got anything to record right now. So yeah, so I shall see you next Saturday, I think. Yeah, we'll go with next Saturday. <laughs> Thank you.